Top of the morning. And it is a beaut. And the hope of the Irish as the future champion of the world. A podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. Welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. The place where dreams get dusted off and acted on. Because life is too short. We're living on a rock that's flying through space. And hey, what the hell else were you going to do with yourself here? Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Now today, I'm going to give you a little bit of a warning, which is beware of the numbers. Now, I know for a fact that there will be some point in time where you will get obsessed about numbers. And you will find that sometimes being obsessed with the numbers is going to make you feel differently about yourself. Depending on the numbers, some days you're going to be up and some days you are going to be down. Now, recently I have found and I've stopped myself from getting too involved in the numbers. You know, I used to, for a while there, I used to watch my TikTok videos and I used to be refreshing the page every so often. How many people have watched my video today? Or how many people have joined my email list today? Or how many people are listening to this podcast? Or how many people are are following me on YouTube? And while that is called, you know, great and well, following, you know, all these different platforms and all these different places, just to see are you growing are you moving in the right direction the numbers can really screw with your head now what i mean by that is say for example i was on tiktok today i recorded a video and i put it out and i had only 10 viewers to that video now only having 10 viewers to to that video is going to make me feel down it's going to make me feel that i'm a dummy it's going to make me feel that i am the most pathetic person on the internet now what happens if I come back and I you know release another video the following day and what happens if I get 10,000 views on that video suddenly I think I'm great I think I'm talented I think I am the most fantastic person who has ever stumbled onto the internet and yet it's the same person you know it's the same person who got 10 views as the person who has now got 10,000 views on that video So that's what I want you to be aware of is to, you know, to, you know, while the numbers are all great and well, it's good seeing the numbers going up. Sometimes getting too tight to the numbers can really kind of play with your emotions. It's going to make you doubt yourself. It's going to, on those down days, it's going to probably make you feel like giving up. It's going to make you feel less about yourself. And sometimes having those overinflated numbers makes you feel that you are probably a lot more talented than you really are. So, you know, that's what I want to make you aware of because I see a lot of people on platforms like TikTok who are always kind of peacocking. They've got screenshots of their profile page and they're always pointing to the amount of followers. Oh, I had 10,000 followers following me since I put out my last live video here on TikTok. Or I have other people who are maybe doing these kind of pity videos where, oh, I only need 500 more people and then I'll have 10,000 followers on my TikTok channel. Please follow me now. And for these people, it's all numbers, numbers, numbers. It's almost like they are, you know, Mr. Pac-Man or Mrs. Pac-Man, where it's always me, 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 just kind of running around the internet, trying to gobble up as many followers as they can, just for the numbers, numbers, numbers. But when you think about it, you know, what is the point of having all those people if those people aren't interested in what you're doing, if you are just doing it for the numbers, and if you do reach those magical, you know, milestones of having 10,000 followers or 100,000 followers, you know, you will find that when you reach that point that the goalposts will move on and then suddenly you'll be obsessed about the next numbers. You're going to be obsessed about 20,000 followers or 200,000 followers or half a million followers. It's always going to be, you know, looking ahead, looking ahead, looking ahead and always feeling that you are on the back foot or that there is you know something not great about you when you haven't got the numbers that other people you know have so that's what I want you to be aware of that you know numbers are all good and well but don't be getting too obsessed about the numbers don't tie yourself too closely to your content where you know some days you're up and down depending on how many people listen to your content because sometimes I find you know with a podcast here sometimes I can record an episode here and some days the listeners are sorry the listens are down and some days I have a lot of people listening to the podcast 
podcast episode. So don't tie yourself to the numbers. Do the best that you can, but kind of focus on the content that you want to create. Because another problem with focusing on the numbers is that you will kind of chase the numbers. You will say, well, you know, everybody else is doing this trend on TikTok, so I'm going to go down this route. I'm going to make all my videos on that trend. And then you head on down that trend doing video after video. And then you find you say to yourself, you know, I hate doing this. This isn't what I came on the internet to do. I've got a message or I've got some advice or I've got some tips or tricks that I should be teaching people other than me doing this silly dance or other than me putting on this, you know, Johnny Depp felt filter on my face to make myself fit in with the crowd or follow a trend. So sometimes, you know, chasing the numbers as well to can lead you down paths that aren't going to make you happy. And sometimes maybe just forgetting about the numbers you know, and just focusing on what you want to do. And, you know, at least you'll be happier, whatever numbers you have, but at least you'll be putting out the content that is, you know, making you happy instead of chasing trends just for the sake of numbers. And as well, too, when it comes to numbers, sometimes, you know, not only can the numbers mess with your head in, you know, making you feel good or bad about yourself, but the numbers can also put more pressure on you. For example, here, if I had this podcast here and I said to myself, well, I've only got 10 listeners on this podcast you know if I release a podcast episode well then in my head I'm just thinking to myself well I'm only talking to 10 people now depending on your level of confidence in yourself you might say to yourself well 10 people isn't too much it's a small you know small group of people in 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 a room here so it's not much pressure on me but what if you had maybe a thousand followers on your podcast or 10,000 followers on your podcast and every time you switch on your, you know, your app or you sit down in front of a microphone, you're thinking to yourself, God, I've got 10,000 people listen to this episode or I've got 100,000 people listen to this episode. Suddenly the stakes are a lot higher. Suddenly the pressure is a lot more on you and suddenly you know, it's a different game because you are letting the numbers control you rather than just saying to yourself, you know something, it's just me and one podcast listener. Basically, I am only recording this episode here for you. So if other people listen to it, if the other 999 people listen to this podcast episode, I'm not really concerned about them. I am only concerned about me here with you just speaking to you one on one. But again, as I said, if you do let the numbers into your head, it will put a lot of pressure on you and you will probably record content that, you know, isn't what makes you happy. And sometimes you might be almost like a, you know, like a rabbit in the headlights where you say to yourself, geez, I've got these many people listening to me right now. And you just get dumbstruck. You're holding a camera in front of your face. You can't record a video. You can't go live because you're just panicking about the numbers. So that's what I want to maybe share with you today, because as I said, you know, it's very, very easy for us to, you know, refresh the page all the time, look at how many listeners we have, look how many followers we have, look how many, you know, video views we have. And while that is all good and well, as I said, sometimes, you know, following the numbers sometimes can make you lose track of yourself, sometimes can put a lot of pressure on yourself, and sometimes sometimes can maybe lead you to places maybe where it's not going to be happy for you going down a particular route. So give that some thought today, but beware of the numbers. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Before you go, Barry wants to show you how you can use the power of stories to sell more of your products and services. He says that if you head on over to the rightcome.com website now he'll show everything you need to do. Have a great day, and thanks for dropping by.